Hi, I'm Craig. I mowed my beard this morning, and this is Mental Floss Video. Today I'm going to answer this is Kerr's big question. When did it become the norm to mow the lawn? Huh, that really coincides with my mowing of my beard that I mentioned earlier. Let's get started. Lawns have been a thing since the 16th century when it was mostly European aristocrats who had them. The word lawn came from an old Middle English word which referred to an open area within the woods. Those areas inspired wealthy landowners to maintain a similar open patch of grass on their property. Loves me a patch of grass. Lawn mowers were invented around 1830. Before then, lawns were still managed though. One of the best ways to do that was by putting livestock on the lawn to maintain it. Richer households would have people trim their lawns by hand with tools like scythes. That's right, it's pronounced scythe, not scythe. We looked it up. A British man named Edwin Budding invented the first lawnmower. Tools to trim the top of fabric already existed, so he was inspired to take that technology and apply it to the yard. In his patent application, Budding wrote, Gentlemen will find using my machine an amusing, healthful exercise. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt when my dad made me mow the lawn. Thanks, Dad. Very amusing. <laughs> I just wanted to play Mario Brothers. Though he noted that his invention was primarily for large gardens and sports fields, it looked pretty similar to the push mowers we still have today. In 1870, a man from Indiana named Elwood McGuire improved on Budding's design. He made a lawnmower that was less heavy, so it was easier to push. The device rose in popularity from there. They were fairly inexpensive, so tons of British and American households got them. Gasoline-powered lawnmowers were invented in 1902, but it took a few decades before they became popular. Here in the U.S., mowing the lawn really became the norm after World War II. Our forefathers fought so that we could cut grass. This was when the suburbs gained a lot of residents, and so more and more people had lawns to take care of. People were like, what? They're cutting grass out there? Sign me up! According to one estimate, in 1946, about 140,000 lawnmowers were sold. By 1958, that number had jumped to 4.2 million. That wasn't just a coincidence, by the way. Communities started encouraging people to care for their lawns. In the 1940s, one development owner in Levittown, Long Island, sent a newsletter to the homeowners in his neighborhood. It read, No feature of a suburban residential community contributes as much to the charm and beauty of the individual home and locality as well-kept lawns. And because of that, my dad made me mow the lawn all the time. Thank you, one development owner from Levittown. Thanks for watching Mental Floss Video, which is made with the help of all of these well-kept people. If you have a big question of your own that you'd like answered, leave it below in the comments. See you next time.